And we have some news breaking just literally in the past hour now. A court in Saudi Arabia sentencing five people to death for the killing of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. He was murdered, of course, in Saudi, that Saudi consulate in Istanbul just uh, last year by a team of Saudi agents. Saudi state-run TV saying three other people were sentenced to prison over the killings. And uh, reports, uh, reports say that the investigation found that the former top advisor to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman had no proven involvement in the killing. Now, the kingdom has denied that MBS had any involvement or knowledge of the operation. So um, some form of justice being doled out today, but uh, there will be lots of questions. I don't think this is a story that ends. I don't think anybody believes it. I don't think anybody believes it. That's, that's sort of... So is there kangaroo justice? Court? Is it kangaroo court? I don't know. I don't know. Were these the five, were these the five men that we were seen on tape? I don't know. Hard to know. And then the question, of course, I'll ask you. The question, of course, is does this change business? I mean, does any of this change people's view of doing business in Saudi or doing business with MBS? Well, I, I think this is likely was done with that exact intention. Right. I mean, you saw the way institutional investors stayed away from the Saudi Aramco IPO. And you think they, it was because of this? Certainly, certainly human rights was, was, was part of that. I mean, I was at that first big summit they had, and... Uh, uh, you were there as yep. well, mm -hmm. and, and it was packed, and all the great and the good, all the biggest pockets of money in the world were there. The, the next year, the year after Khashoggi's murder, right. uh, was a, it was a bit of a ghost town. Well, and there were still people who went back. Even the administration was back the next year before this ruling came out. Yes. So I think it was kind of like time out. You're in the penalty box for a year, maybe longer. Yeah, but it's not full on right. back. I mean, again, that, that IPO... Nobody, really, right. nobody invested in that IPO. You think it, was largely, that was a, it was largely just arm twisting of, of the retail. Right. And you think that was a function, though, not of the transparency issues, not of disclosure issues, but of. See, I think that may right. played a bigger role. I thought it was. I thought it was no, all it was these all other of that. issues. It was. It was all of that. But no, I, right. absolutely. Human it doesn't help to have it. massive no, it, human rights violations. It doesn't right. help. And and I, I just want to flip it for a second and think about this from MBS's position within Saudi Arabia. Uh, remember, this is a guy who's a reformer. Right. Uh, I put that in quotes to some extent, but indeed there are some true reforms. But at the same time, he's a reformer. He's buying yachts, he's buying paintings, he's buying chalets, and he's locking up, uh, I don't remember the exact number, over 100, over 100 important people in the, in the Ritz-Carlton there. Right. And now this, you have five people sentenced to death. Do people look at this and say, now wait a minute, they were actually following out your orders. That right. doesn't... That's what I mean. I don't, that I don't doesn't know, feel that, this, just. I don't know right. that this turns, the page, turns right. the page or brings them into a new chapter. On right. any of these things. The entire situation is so disheartening. It's hard to even, it's hard to even talk about.